My next guest is coming off a split decision win over Andy Jimenez at MMA Pro League One on September 15th. It is Justin Osborne joining me here on the program for the very first time. Justin, how are you? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing very well. And uh, I was kind of talking with you off air. We screwed up the time on this interview. So uh, <laughs> my apologies on that. But glad we made this happen, man. Uh, it's great to see you uh, get in the win column. And we'll talk about the, the victory in a second. But I wanted to go all the way back to the beginning. Uh, what initially got you into combat sports? So um, I, was, I was playing college football at the University of South Alabama, kind of living, living my dream of being a D1 uh, college football player. And uh, uh, I, had, I had some things with the NCAA that got messed up in terms of my eligibility. Like there was a technicality that happened because uh, I'm, I'm on the autism spectrum. So I'm ta I was taking a medication at the time. And with the NCAA, they were like, um, hey, man, you need a you need a therapeutic uses exemption to use this. It's not it wasn't like I was taking like steroids or anything like that. It was just, you know, it's just a small technicality. And uh, and then I had to sit out. I basically had to sit out a year and I just couldn't do that. I couldn't I couldn't sacrifice another year of my eligibility because I had already done one year at JUCO. So if I had sacrificed another year of eligibility, that means I would have only had two years of playing time, which would have been unrealistic at that point. So um, after that, I, uh, you know, I was always a fan of MMA growing up. I graduated high school in Iowa, so I was always a fan of the Militich fighting system guys. And uh, so I ended up ended up just uh, deciding to go into MMA after that. And uh, here we are. Yeah, no, it's, it's been quite the journey. Um, now, as far as what pays the bills for you right now, I know fighting isn't your primary <laughs> primary source of income at this point, but what do you do for work outside of fighting? So right now, um, I'm, uh, I'm a kid striking instructor at uh, Port City MMA, nice. and I also do private private striking lessons, and then uh, I help, uh, I do like strength and conditioning sessions on the side uh, just because uh, I went to school for exercise science and did an internship with Landau for performance in Denver. So um, those are really, that's really what gets me by. Excellent. And of course, uh, big news, you, you just linked up with the Turp House. That's who we're doing this interview <laughs> for. Uh, how did this come together, getting to work with, uh, in my opinion, the leading CBD oil company uh, in, in, in the world? Yeah. Um, uh, when I was living in when I was living in Denver and doing my internship with Landau Performance and training at Factory X at the time, uh, I uh, I got to experiment with CBD just just because it's uh, it's easier to access obviously in Colorado. So um, and they were one of the one of the companies I experimented with and uh, I, I I loved using their products and so I just re I reached out to them and and here we are. Nice. Okay. And what do you use for recovery as far as, uh, you know, healing up those bumps and bruises during training camp or even after a big fight like this, like you had on the 15th? Um, so I have a chiro I have a chiropractor who's also an acupuncturist that sponsors me, uh, Dr. Ken Smith of Back in Motion Chiropractic in Daphne, Alabama. So he's been, he's the guy that really keeps me, keeps everything in line. And, uh, and then, uh, have you, I use uh, the CBD for the inflammation, but I really don't. I, I really don't use supplements that much because I'm not one of these guys that's going to take a supplement and then it's got something in it that wasn't supposed to be there, and then oh, a tainted supplement. Like, you know, like so I don't really take supplements. So I just try to I try to keep everything. I try to keep my diet clean so that way uh, I don't have to do supplements because I'm already getting everything I need out of my diet. If that makes sense. No, I, t I totally get what you're saying, especially now with uh, everything we're seeing with USADA and everything else. So you're you're you're, you're making the right choice here, just because uh, you never know what's uh, what's going to be in there. Um, let's talk about the fight, though. Split decision win over Andy Jimenez, like I mentioned off the top on the uh, first uh, inaugural pro league uh, show. Um, it goes to the judges' scorecards. Are you worried at all when they're reading when they're reading the scorecards? Are you pretty confident you had the victory? I was 100% confident that I had the victory, but you know, you just never know with the judges. I mean, it was it was really weird scoring because I mean, I asked Dan Miller, you know, hey man, what did you think? He said it's two to one, if not three to zero. And then um, and then I asked my my head coach Randy James, what did you think? He said three to zero. And then obviously it goes to split decision, 
And then I, I ask all the media row, hey, how'd you guys score it? They all came up to me and they said they all scored at 30-27 for me. So it was just really weird. You, you just never know what judges are looking for. Um, you know, it, it, it was really strange because, I mean, he's backing up the entire fight. He's getting he's eating shots, getting taken down consistently. I mean, he's got the head of a cinder block, for, luckily for him, because, I mean, I just don't know how you absorb two head kicks in a round and survive but hey credit to his toughness but i mean in my opinion i you know going back and watching the fight objectively i mean i think i won every round of that fight i mean you just can't you can't win a fight backing up and absorbing damage the whole fight was there anything about him in the fight though that surprised you just that you could you could absorb i was just surprised how much damage he could absorb because he just he took a lot of shots i mean but again you know some guys are really tough and credit to his toughness um i knew he had slick jujitsu going in so i mean he had a slick little kimura trap set up on me um but other than that nothing really surprised me surprised me i was ready to go anywhere the fight went and uh, you could see that in the fight there was you know no panic out of my part um I think I did, I think in particularly the the clinch was I was a little surprised that that I was able to blow him out in the clinch with okay. the clinch striking in particular. What's next for you? When when are you looking to get back in there? I'm I'm sure you came out of there pretty unscathed. You seem like you're in a good mood so no bumps and bruises anything yeah. like that. Um well, uh, right now I'm just uh, I'm just taking all taking any offer that's that's out there and you know comparing and contrasting and, and going from there. I'm not you know there's no hard date set. Um, I did um, I didn't go out of the fight get out of the fight unscathed unfortunately because I actually ended up getting a cellulitis infection on my elbow, so I had to be on antibiotics for the past two weeks. Oh shit! Um, that sucks. Yeah. So now uh, it's pretty much fully healed up now. So I'm just waiting for waiting for the the scabbing and all that stuff to come off before I get back in there and train. Um, but yeah, uh, as far as what's next, um, I'm just waiting and seeing. Yeah, are you looking to get one more fight this year? Or are you looking more towards 2019? Uh, if it's one more fight this year, it'll be like it'll be like December ish. If it's one more fight this year, because I did have. I took two fights in back-to-back months for my first two pro fights, and then I did have an amateur fight in uh, uh, March of this year. My last amateur fight was March this year, so I've already gotten three fights. So, I mean, a fourth is just kind of icing on the cake at this point. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to the next one uh, coming up here. Uh, Justin, it was uh, great getting a chance to chat with you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours, man. All right. Uh, you can... You can follow me on Instagram at justin.osborne.712. Um, I'm also going to be coming out with my Twitch channel in October. Uh, I just haven't gotten my logo design yet or the name for the channel or, or that stuff. But I got all the big stuff done with it. Uh, I'd like to thank my sponsor's comments from the peanut gallery. I'm wearing their hoodie right now. You can check out that podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, wherever uh, podcasts are available. Um, and then uh, back in motion chiropractic in Daphne, Alabama, Dr. Ken Smith does a fantastic job keeping me keeping my body fine tuned. Um, and then I'd like to thank Turp House, obviously. Uh, it's great for an autistic person like me. It helps me it helps me get to sleep at night. That's what, what I primarily use it for. Um, and I just like to thank my gym, Port City MMA, and all my training partners, uh, my, my boy Iron Mike Barnett's fighting in Island Fights this weekend, so I'm going to go go watch him, and that, that and my coaches, Randy James, Iron Mike Barnett, Adam Hicks, uh, Jacob Jeffers, and Jimmy Mills. Excellent. Before I let you go, i got to ask, uh, what, what games are you going to be pl- playing on uh, Twitch? What are we going to be seeing you highlighting? So right now, probably over Overwatch, uh, maybe may, maybe PUBG, um, and then uh, in between, uh, perhaps like Dragon Ball Fighters, something like that. I want to get some fighting games in the in the mix. Um, just don't know which which ones yet.